Okay. So, as you are aware, uh, we're going to see how to about preparing the interview questions, but uh, maybe just to make sure how many of you or yeah, how many of you have attended the introduction session? Or I think, uh, or I hope that we all are familiar with this week's challenge and with the with the expectations of what we're going to do and what are we dealing with. I think most of us are uh, by now familiar with that, right? So maybe anyone who is not familiar or who haven't taken a look on this week's challenge, is there anyone so that we can make, you know, we can just. Uh, Go back. Actually, we will. But if there is anyone who haven't seen or yeah, who haven't seen the challenge document, I will consider that uh, maybe there is no one. But okay. Uh, but yeah. So maybe we will just. So this week's challenge will be is actually as you have attained the sessions. It's about hiring. Uh, a person or right so you're going to act like uh, the HR or so you're going to uh, follow or you're going to do every steps of the HR process okay so in this step uh, as you if you have checked the document so probably you're going to raise the question the first task is to um, to have the job description right so task one is writing job description and posting and the task two will be interviewing someone preparing the interview question so uh, it doesn't matter since you're going to have the interim submission by Wednesday uh, whether you have done task two first or task one first it is not going to matter for the for this specific situation so but today we're going to see the preparing interview question so like if we're talking about or thinking about preparing the questions we will we, we need to assume that we have already had the job descriptions right uh, yeah that is maybe uh, I, I was afraid that you will have this confusion. I was expecting you to ask this. So, um, by concept, we will uh, expect uh, we will expect uh, like uh, the process to be to have or to write a job description after having I mean the interview questions after having a job description. So in this case, we're going to assume there's a job description that is written for all those departments like the finance department, the information technology department, the business, the public relation. This is the challenge document, okay, that you're seeing here. So we're going to assume that we have the descriptions for all these sectors. So we're going to put or we're going to try in order to hire someone, we, we need to prepare some interview questions, right? So um, the task or the challenge demand us to have those uh, questions for every, for those, to have those interview questions for every department that are mentioned here. So in this case, um, we will assume that we have already, we have the job description and we will talk about what aspects do we need to consider or what main, main, situations and uh, formulas we can say that they are a formula but they're not actually but what formulas or what measurements do we need to have when we write or when we prepare an interview questions okay for so we're not going to see the details of like for finance for information since they're going to share some uh, many basic things but we're going to see the general aspect okay we're cool with that uh, I, i'm afraid that like i'm trying to you know uh remove the confusions like last week's that will happen from the beginning. That is why I am asking you again and again if everyone is familiar with the challenge. Uh, if there is someone who is not familiar or who had uh, not attained the sessions or who hadn't checked the document, then it is okay. Feel free to say it, okay? Rather than being confused at the end of the day. Okay. So I think we're cool. Let's just continue. So, the first one will be creating interview questions. So interview questions can help you hiring manager, can help a hiring manager. In this case, you or like as a HR manager to determine if the candidate is right fit for the role in the company. So yeah, the whole process is you know about your company, you know what type of attributes or talents that you're looking on a person because you know the opening of your company. So um, creating that interview, Questions will help you to find out the right person in order to fulfill that or close that position. Okay, so uh, so the interviews enable you to perform the uh, this three facts or this mentioned three facts. Uh, 
So the first one is elicit first hand information about the candidate's background, of course. Mostly if you can see or if you have noticed uh, or probably you were uh, one of uh, you were, I think, in interviews. So you you will need to prepare. Uh, I mean, you need to uh, people interviewer will ask about what is your background, what what information will you say about yourself and things like that, so that they can have a first hand information. Okay, it might be deep. Actually, the deeper <laughs> this is not the point. Actually, this is not. Uh, we're not going to talk from the yeah uh, the inter the person side, the person who's going to do the interview. But just as an advice, yeah, it is really nice. If you talk deeper about the uh, about yourself, right? So this is just an information, okay? Uh, so yeah, they're going to ask this basic question so that they will know more or about they will know more about you, so that they will also somehow customize the next question based on the your first answer. So the first one is to get first hand information, and then the second one is uh, we they need to get a general sense of the candidate's overall skills, attitude, enthusiasms, and attitude. So they will start and things that are listed here. So you need to start to ask uh, specific questions, specifically about the skills, specifically about maybe the projects or the works or the experience that they had on the first part. Uh, yeah, and maybe, yeah, things that are related, not only about specific things that are mentioned on the first question, but also specific things that you need on your um, hiring process or, or that you need for your, uh, for your opening or for your company, okay? And then there will come estimate the candidate's ability to adapt to your department work environment. So you will start asking about, uh, asking questions related with your company. Okay, this is the culture of your my company. So how are you able to adapt with the company? Or uh, this is the not only the culture, but maybe this is, um, uh, it might be intensive, it might be, you might have no that much free time or something. So are you aware of that? And are you uh, ready to adapt that? So characters that are related with your company, you need to include them on your question. So those are the three main things or uh, combined with other steps. Those are the three main steps that you're going to take in order to hire a person or in order to make a decision based on the questions. So we're going, we're seeing those points because at the end of the day, we're going to check the questions that you will have and we will see uh, how, uh, not about the, like how well written or how well uh, prepared the questions are, okay? So like, well, how are we going to, or how to write the interview question? So the first one is you need to consider the company. Say, let's go roughly through every paint. Okay, maybe, are we all alive? Are you hearing me? Uh, sorry, what was the, the, the third one? There are three parties. Yeah. The first one is okay. candidate's background and then general skills about the company and the third one. Sorry. So yeah, it's okay. Uh, we, we all are alive, I guess. Thank you for the emojis. So uh, estimate the third one is to meet the candidate's ability to adapt your department. So you will ask specific questions about, uh, so like you're going to see here and on how to write the interview questions about the things that you need as an information while writing the interview question, okay? So one of that will be, uh, the company's need, as mentioned here, the, consider the company's need. So in the third space, the third step says that, so can that person, maybe that person have the ability, the skills that you're looking for, uh, the dedication and things like that, but is he able to adapt your company's culture? Or the, if your company is, well, like, if you need that person full-time, is he able to uh, give his full-time and things like that? But uh, either ways, uh, questions that are related with the, company's culture, okay, uh, away from the technical questions, like about the company's culture. Tarata, is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Eric, Eric, you can go. Okay, thank you. Uh, for me, I was not able to see the slide clearly. If possible, you can use slide show for us to see it clearly. Thank you. Sure, 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 okay. Okay, I was about to start, 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 start that. Yeah, you can meet yeah, you yourself. Can meet yourself. Okay. There is nothing, uh, there's something here. Can you please use slide? Oh, 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 okay. It's Eric. 
Okay, uh, here we go. So how to write the interview questions? The first thing we mentioned was to consider the company's need. As we have mentioned earlier, in order to fulfill one of the three things that we are asking the questions for, the first thing is uh, to consider the company's needs. So it's double, like uh, not only on the, so this is more of actually more of about the, what the company needs technically, what type of uh, skills, what type of experience, okay? Also, culture is also included here. So each job is different, which means uh, like considering all those things that will be constant, which is the company's culture, the working culture, the collaboration and things like that. You need like every um, department might, of course, is going to expect or is going to have rules that are different with each other. OK, so knowing what the company wants and need from its employee, it will help you write more effective questions, okay? Sometimes, uh, most probably you have heard this thing, right? So if you have interviewed in some company and if you fail, that's not always mean that you're not uh, you're not good enough, okay? It might be you're not good enough for that specific company, but you're more than good or overqualified for other co company, right? So companies need, needs, needs to be considered. So like, what are the company's value? Like they may they may want employees who have integrity and show respect to other, okay. So this is more of uh, related with the culture and how can a new hire support the current team, okay. Uh, yeah, for example, the team may want to have someone who collaborates effectively and had yeah. In general, you need to know what type of uh, person or personality is the company looking for, and then the assisted opening which is this is more of technical right so uh, in job opening means what's not only not what specific skills and things like that but also are you for example let's say you're looking for a developer so are you taking looking for a developer that will handle most of the things most of the technical things of the company or that would are you looking for a person that would help us uh, a side developer or a help a helper okay so you need to take time uh, in what the job entails, like including the requirements, functions, and goals of the position. So it's it, this also needs to be detailed since it's going to decide what type of uh, person are you going to hire. So that uh, which means what type of questions are you going to have to. The second one is identify the ideal candidate. Okay, which is after you. So ha have I heard a voice? Anything? Nothing. Okay. So yeah, after determining the job task and the qualification, so uh, what qualities may help a candidate meet or exceed expectations of the position? I mean, this means that while doing the interviews, you need to know before the interviews what type of things are going to be a plus. Okay. The, Every questions that you have are not supposed to be answered as you want. Maybe they're going to be answered differently, but they might fit uh, uh, your position or like your needs. Okay. Does the role involve training to learn the duties quickly? So is the work environment fast paced or more relaxed? So this is like you need to know what qualities may help a candidate meet or exceed the expectation of the position so that uh, if you are aware of that, then you will be able to pick the candidate easily. The other one is customize questions to the role, which means, yeah, it's also, I think it's have the same concept, right? You establish the tone for the job interview, which means structure equations to reflect the work environment and company culture. So candidates know what to expect in the new position. For example, if you're hiring, hiring customer service representatives at a call center, you may prepare questions to determine candidates, demeanors, and behaviors when speaking with others. So you might just ask people's equation, but people equation, but what you need to know or what you need to understand is the way they answer or like, are they answering or are they giving you an answer from the answer that they have studied or are they trying to create it from themselves? So yeah, you, you might just ask some um, random questions which might not even be related with the task so that you can see maybe how creative they are so it is sometimes it's not about the answer 
it's how they are going to answer that so like let's bring this for the specific for this week's challenge and we're going to see we're going to see the ability uh like we're going to see uh the questions so like you you, you will express to us in what aspect or in what considering what thing or co considering what future are you having those questions like they are supposed to be explained i mean they're they're supposed to be clear or okay i i heard a question maybe here. what this slide including the file please what is this slide because i can't find it no it is not included media so uh, why don't you maybe like uh, follow the slides now or let's follow the session and the slides are going to be shared in the same folder that you I shared the this week's challenge. Okay. Okay, on the file, uh, yeah, they might not be shared on the file to on the folder, but uh, if they are not shared, they're going to be shared after the session. So yeah, so for now, let's just follow the flow. Okay, meeting. So. Uh, if you are hiring customers so yeah they will just say that the questions need to be uh, we need to customize the questions specifically for the role and the other one is use open-ended question so in open-ended questions we need uh, so like if questions are closed they are going to be easy to answer right uh, and it's uh, it might be yes or no it might be uh, like I was here, I was there, and things like that. So they're going to tell you what experience they will have, which is really a good thing. But so, but what if you needed to see uh, the other aspect, or like what, uh, like you might fail, you might not find some informations, you might fail to have some inf like important informations about the person if you're just asking closed questions, okay? But open in the, in the questions will encourage the person. So it have many uses. The first is it, it encourages the person to uh, to mention like if there's something that we missed to know or to, we missed uh, because of our, our closed questions. So if there is uh, an important information for that the person wanted to share, he might have the chance to share because he, the the question might be able the question will be able to flow uh, to different. Uh, histories okay uh, so the first one is that and the second one is like you can know that most of the time people are really about the closed questions they know most of us know about what the question are we going to be asked in interview but sometimes opening it as an interviewer opening the question will be like a surprise okay they know you never know you know it's like don't let them know your next move so you might ask something that is out of the content okay so you will be able to know not only the skills but also the history but also the ability to answer also the creativity also the politeness and many things about the person so what is an example of constructive feedback you have received that you've applied to your work those are examples of interview questions okay that would be that would uh, have a good information and here we're going to see tips the first one is yeah every question need to have a specific purpose okay they might not be that the question might not be that relevant but it have a relevant uh, uh if, like a relevant uh, information to bring okay as we have mentioned it might not be related with the task but we need there's something that we want to know about that person while asking this question there, that should be kept and again an interview should be as structured as possible so that each candidate is evaluated according to the same general general criteria so yeah the second thing you might so if the questions are open, so the as we have mentioned earlier, the the person that is being interviewed will have a chance to mention if there is anything anything that we did that we haven't asked for that that we haven't mentioned. That is okay. But if we're asking different question for different people, we're giving another person like more chance in order to know more information about them. So it's not going to be fair, right? So the interview questions will need to be uh, structured and they need to be seen so like it's also less likely to go against laws and regulations right this is not you know we will be against some laws so you need to have a constant format for all interviewers interviews the, the person who are taking their interview so of course what makes an interview question good is a good question right so uh 
yeah, make sure you questions that will bring uh, specific information, and then it helps you gain some insights into how they will react in various situations, not only about answer, as I have told you, also the analysis matters. And an interview should be structured as possible. It's also mentioned, oh, that, that is, I think, the last page. So I yeah, ask questions about specific responsibilities or accomplishment that the candidates had included in their resume. So uh, you will check how uh, informative they are or how informed they are about the things that, that they have mentioned in their CV, whether it is right or wrong, like maybe they, are they lying or are they not? You will be able to make that. So like focus on the things that are mentioned on their CV too. It's also appropriate to ask a candidate follow, follow up questions to a response that encourages further conversations. So here, uh, I understand that you're not going to make the interview in front to front, so you're not going to have the answer, so you can't give uh, a follow-up question, I understand that, but this is the general concept, and you will need to take uh, the things that will help you. Actually, most of them will help you to take, uh, to make uh, the interview, your interview question based on the this challenge or what is required on this challenge, okay? So yeah, keep this uh, information in mind and try to adapt them for every department here. And then uh, it would probably be, it is not going to be that hard. And uh, try to make sure that your questions are trying to take or trying to integrate those informations mentioned here, okay? Okay, so yeah, that is by my side. I would like, I would really wanted to ask you some things like, have you made an interview? Have you asked a question before? Maybe you can share us some information if, if you have any experience on that. But yeah, this is the session. And do you have any question also? Any questions or any suggestions are uh, accepted. Okay, Master. All right, thank you, Radit. So, um, my question is, if um, there are contexts that, that we need to go through rigorous uh, interviews, for example, there might be phase one, phase two interviews mostly, uh, how can we identify um, which, which parameters, which questions that we should ask? during in which uh, interview phase. For example, there are times that, that we might ask for the general knowledge or the general employability of the candidate and at the same time uh, to the next, if he or she makes it through the next level, there might be a time that we'll be asking whether that candidate has was a full knowledge, uh, have the potential to work with the team, to work with the working environment and, and organizational culture. So um, my concern, my question is actually, how can we use those parameters in identifying or in selecting the, the candidates through the interviews? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Master. That's really a good question. Maybe let me uh, ask the class or the room. If, let's make it just a discussion, okay? Let's try. So is there anyone who have actually not an answer? It might not be an answer, but some idea. I think it's a good question over here. So like some idea, what do you think? Maybe, uh, can I try maybe? Of course. Yeah. If I don't know if I am wrong, but uh, uh, from my uh, previous uh, experience, like I was interviewed by some uh, sectors and organizations. So uh, in this case, I think they were using some kind of uh, a table to uh, put a point for each questions, like the indicators that uh, directly related to the the answer of the questions. So. Uh, in most cases, there are a group of people can make an interview for one uh, candidate, like three or four people based on their uh, qualification. So in this case, I think they do have their own uh, parameters so that they can give the point for that specific uh, candidate. But those uh, points need to be uh, identical just to remove subjectivity of uh, uh, the individuals. So. Most of the time, it's subjective to give a point for, uh, for, for individuals during the interview time. So in order to remove such kind of uh, errors, they, do, they may have 
some kind of indicators so that they can be almost to uh, to, to give the same result for some specific questions i think that's uh, from my side thank you okay very uh, like you're very welcome to telephone thank you very much we would really like to hear if there's another suggestion or idea from the class if there is before i can put my ideas okay Gannett. Gannett, you can go Gannett, can you hear us if you're talking you are you are muted we're not being able to hear your voice Okay, then that it might be a mistake. Okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Now. Yeah, we okay, just, I uh, for, hear just I'm for uh, for uh, for uh, master education. Uh, the one uh, when we have started the lesson, we have said that the interpretation must have a purpose. So uh, when we have a purpose, uh, we will list out some uh, qualifications or uh, some basic things. So, uh, in order to fulfill that, uh, we can give, uh, we can ask the different questions, which is uh, a purposeful question. So, the main thing is having uh, a purposeful uh, interview. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. One of the exactly. things that we need to consider, consider is the purpose. Thank you, Gana. Thank you very much. If you had uh, finished your points, you might. I'm hearing my voice. That sounds like. Uh, I want to. I would like to ask a question. Okay. Yeah. Maybe before Alex, before you can ask your question, let me put my uh, insight on Mustwell's question. So, if you have noticed the uh, different companies so if you if if there is going to be a phase or two or three phases of interviewing uh mostly you're going on the you're you're not going to face the same people or the same interviewer for the first phase and for the second phase or, and for the third phase so uh what is the reason most of the time okay if there is an hr the first interview will be with the hr and if the second one might be with the manager in the third will be with the ceo and things like that okay so what is the, why is that uh Mostly this kind of culture is uh, adopted in big companies, okay? Because there are going to be many applicants. Uh, okay, Mide, the question was what, like on interviews or on, yeah, on a hiring process that will have two or three phase of interviews, how are we going to uh, adjust questions for interview one, for the phase one, for the phase two, and for the phase three, okay? Is that clear, Mide? That is the question. Maybe should I repeat what I said? Okay. okay. No, that's not uh, my question. Is about last week. No, no, Alex. Last Alex, week. it's not okay. Alex, I'm okay. sorry. I was just talking with Midi. I mean, she, she, she. The question was not clear for her, and I was trying to clarify the question. So I think it's understandable now. So must well back to you. So um, okay. the thing is, like for the companies who have. Uh, many applicants or candidates so they were going to prepare the questions um, like easy questions in the first phase because uh, asking complicated questions and meeting the ceos or the higher people on the who are we going to meet with in interview two or in, in interview three it is costly okay it is costly so that we're not going to they're not going to apply it for many candidates so it is better for them to have so like, for example, let's say there will, there will be 20 candidates, which is more. That is not the case mostly. The case is like 100, 200 applicants, right? So yeah, let's just, for example, take there is 20 uh, applicants in the first stage. So it is better in terms of time, in terms of uh, uh, questions and like putting the secret of your company in front, it is better to put it for five people rather than for 20 people. So what you're going to do is you're going to ask more general questions, okay, about that person. You're not going to evoke your company. You're just going to see, maybe you you will remove like telling your company culture for that person, okay? You are just evaluating on their information on the first phase. And on the second phase, maybe you will uh, ask them the skills and maybe you will tell them your job environment. And on the third phase, you will give them some case studies or some questions that are applied. 
and you will meet then maybe they will meet the CEOs or like higher uh, people on the last interview and things like that so the costly ones or the more important ones will be on the last interview phase okay am I clear master do you give my answer okay thank you master so Alex I have stopped you many times I'm sorry you can go Alex, can you hear me? Now you can go. Sorry for yeah, that. No problem. Okay. All right. Um, my name is Alexana. Okay. Last, last, uh, the first week, week one, I tried submitting my assignments using things, but I don't know. It was I like I found it hard trying to use things to submit. So oh, I don't know whether there's any remedy or if there's anything that can be done. Yeah, sure. There is a session that was recorded in last week. Uh, so I uh, I had explained how to submit your uh, submit uh, your submission on the next platform on that video. So yeah, let me just uh, you can find the video on YouTube on our YouTube channel. It would be really nice if you go and check. But I will try to share you also here the video and if you didn't get the video clear if it is not clear then you can uh tag me in slack and you can ask me there also the first uh it would really be nice if you can check okay. the video all right no other questions maybe you're back i will just say all right thank have you. Your, the, okay thank you alex i was just asking if you have the heard the question right maybe and but you were out okay it's okay uh any other questions or suggestions? Can okay. you share? Okay, yes, I heard you. you. I okay, any questions? Okay, then. I know. Okay, again, that I will be sharing, yeah, before closing the session, I will be share, sharing the video link here. But for the rest, like, if you have missed any session, you can go to that YouTube channel and you can find the sessions uploaded after they are recorded, okay? After one hour or one or two hours of being recorded. But, like, give me a second, I will share the link here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was not muted. Okay, <laughs> sorry, sorry. And this is the link. Okay, so everyone, you can get the recorded link about how to submit your 10x assignments on our platform here, and you can also get another session that you've missed if there is any on that uh, on our youtube channel and then you can check for that that's okay isaac so i think we can end the session here let me stop the recording is there any question or confusion i think uh, now we're okay now we we all are good